You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. I, dude, I was so worried about you. Thank you, baby. We Thank thought you were going to die. I definitely thought I was going to die. I can do the quickest version of the story. No, we want the slow version. <laughs> slow burn. <laughs> well, first of all, welcome back, Fancy B from España. Yeah. yeah. Second of all. <laughs> my agents call me. They go, you're not doing it. <laughs> and I go, what? What? The zombie movie. Oh, his movie. Made. And I go, I have to do it. Like, you cannot do it. So I've never, I've never, I've never seen my agents call me and just and just beg me not to do a movie. Did they read the script? Yeah, they liked the script. They they saw the no money. Right. That's Spain. Right. I, I'm, years. A lot of things I mean, layered. Years, yeah, there's not a, really a lot of incentive to do it. I read it on the plane, and that's why I had a medical emergency because I was reading. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it anyway. I know. I love you. So I get a text message. I get a text message from Jesse. Our old friend Jetski, right? It says, oh my God, I can share the photo. Oh my God, I'm on a plane and Andrew Santino just overdosed. Okay, I know. <laughs> but okay, not just that. Yeah. I get a call from TMZ. They called my agents, yeah. Right, and TMZ is like, is he, is he alive? You didn't answer the, did you answer the phone? Oh, yeah, yeah. What are you, why are you answering the phone? I go, who's <laughs> alive? Yeah, who's alive? Your boy. We heard drugs and this, that. I go. It's crazy. No, what? No. Right, it was diarrhea. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was it was diarrhea, diarrhea right? Yeah. yeah. It was diarrhea. Well, do you faint it on the plane though? Kills people every year. Which kills a lot of people, 55,000 people in first world countries, by the way, 200,000 uh, globally. Uh, it was How does more, diarrhea kill you? What do you dehydration? Drink you, water. You can no, dude. When I have diarrhea, I I drink water while I'm doing diarrhea. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Whoa, dude! I'm replenish right then. One point five million people died from diarrhea Holy diseases fuck, in two thousand nineteen. That. That's so many. So here's what oh, really shit. happened. Okay. I didn't overdose, and also we apologized already to the fans of Abu Dhabi. I was advised. Oh that, my god, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry we couldn't go. So, so I was sick in Nashville, right? Saturday, I didn't feel that good. Saturday, late show, okay? No booze, no nothing, nothing. Just eat a meal, not feeling right. Go to bed. Sunday morning, I oh, wake back up, up. Back up, back up. Yeah. What's the feeling? How do I start? What, what's the beginning of it? No, no, what I'm saying is, is that I'm not feeling right. I want to be specific because I want to know if I have those symptoms, mm. what to do. Okay. So. Well, I'll tell you not, what not to do. <laughs> Don't get on a flight. All right, juicy farts. No, it's not farts yet. Okay. So what started as nausea up high, high in my throat, and then fogginess. Oh, my So God. on the there second show on Saturday night, I felt like the set was good, but you know when you're there, but you're you're like, I'm, I'm on autopilot. I was on autopilot. I was just kind of doing the jokes, but I was like, I feel so weird. Mm. I go back to the hotel that night. I sit in bed, can't go to sleep, super nauseous. I go to the bathroom, take a shower, come out, real nauseous, achy, strange. Go to sleep. Sunday morning, I wake up to go golfing with Court McCown. The whole morning, I feel like I'm going to throw up. The whole time, I feel like I'm going to throw up. I feel woozy and out of it. I'm eating and drinking. You know, I'm having like healthy stuff. Nothing crazy. Then sat, then Sunday night, I get back to the hotel. I call Lucy at Nashville Zanies, And I said, something's wrong. I don't even know if I could do the shows. Like, I feel awful. Dude. Why do you do a Sunday show? I did two Sunday shows. For the fans, baby. <laughs> okay. So I get, I, she says, I'll get you an IV. She calls Nate Bargatze's sister, who was an angel who came through with her friend who got, does mobile IVs. Are they hot? In between shows, none of your business. Don't say that. That's our friend's sister. Oh, no, just not, not Nate's, but the it's other Nate's one. sister. Not the other one. The girl who administered the IV? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just move on. Okay, uh, okay, okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. So then I get the IV in between the shows. Yeah. It, it's not working. Like, I get a boost of energy for the second show. Can I tell you something? But I feel dog shit. I'm sweating. I'm vibrating. Can I interject something? With yeah. That? I know it's your story, but I want to interject. Gone. Yeah. It's not funny. What I'm about to say is not going to No, be mine has not been funny. I love it, though. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. I knew something was wrong because you called me mm. on stage. <laughs> I did, yeah. And usually when he calls me on stage, it's, what's up? Uh-huh. I'm doing a show. This time, he's on stage. There's a crowd behind him. 
He's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and I, so it, in my mind, I'm like, oh, he's not doing a show. He's I was calling me off. I was so out of it. He was out. I was. There was something wrong. But I'll tell you why. Yeah. There was a weird omen in the air. A guy. Oh shit! Damien was there. Damien was there. Oh just shit! Dangling, six, six, six on his dangling face. his penis fingers all over the crowd. Ooh. That's not Damien. That's, that's Casper. Not? Oh, that's Casper. <laughs> Up in the balcony of Zanies, yeah. in the middle of my show. No. A guy passes out. Medical emergency! Medical emergency! How weird is that? Second show, first show. Second show. Oh no! Medical emergency! They're yelling, and our good buddy, great, great uh, musician Noah Khan came with his. Never heard of him. Really? One of the biggest musicians right now. You don't know who Noah Khan is? He's fucking massive. Is it Shaka Khan's brother? Yes. <laughs> it's Shaka's younger brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the man. Oh, I love Noah Khan. He's the fucking man. Anyway, in the <laughs> yeah. middle of the show, a medical emergency. We stop the show. I think somebody's dying or having a stroke or a heart attack or something bad. We get through that. I feel like I might have a stroke or heart attack. So it's already this weird omen energy. I go back to the hotel that night feeling not good all night long. Poop, 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 poop. Puke, poop. Puke, puke, poop. Not good. May I, may I ask In that order. Poop, 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 poop. Okay. Puke, wait, let me poop. Get. Puke, poop, 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 poop. Puke, poop, 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 poop. Yes. Okay, okay. Exactly. Can I ask another question? Please. What is the right ratio in terms of puke diarrhea? It's two to one poop to puke. <laughs> two to one. Two diarrhea to one. always wins. It always yeah. wins. It always wins. They're like the Manchester City of whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> they always win. Yeah. My puke was arsenal on yeah, this yeah. one. <laughs> I'm sorry. So anyway, I go to bed. Sweating. Sweat through the sheets. Your body fighting it off. Oh, buddy. Big time. Yeah. I wake up the next morning and I said, get room service, get on the plane and go home. Just go home. Mm. I get room service. I eat a bite of a waffle. <laughs> right back out. <laughs> Whoa. One bite of a waffle. A berry smoothie. I figured I can't eat solid, so I'm just going to chug a smoothie. I chug the smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, so your poo was purple. <laughs> it went right through. Like I'm power washed. <laughs> wow. It was unreal. I get to the airport. I'm woozy goozy. People are passing me like, bad friends. And I'm just like, hey, man. <laughs> I'm out of it. Wow. I sit down. This is an insane story. I sit down on the plane. I know this one. And I look to my left. There's a bag on my seat. It's like a from somebody bought stuff from one of the shops. And I go, whose bag is this, man? Is this anybody's bag? Like, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's right behind me. It's MGK and Megan Fox. That's right. <laughs> I don't even see him. I didn't even see him. I swear to God. I'm so out of it. I literally didn't see the guy. And he goes, yo, you the comedian? <laughs> Santino, yeah. Right away. And I go, what's up? He goes, yo, you're the shit. So now, I'm sick. I'm like he, sick. You touched him? Yeah. <laughs> I, gave him, I gave him a dap. Yeah. Right now, MPK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Megan Fox. <laughs> Is everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, MGK is behind me so now I have to turn you know when you're like talking to someone behind you you gotta like do the so I'm sitting on the side because I'm I wanna be cool and talk to him but I can't tell him like hey dude I'm so fucking I feel so sick right now so we're just sharing comedy he's a huge comedy fan loves you which is annoying as fuck uh, <laughs> is a fan of the show like all, all, like name, not all of our friends we were talking about Tim Robinson show I think you should leave we were, we we're just cracking up sharing stories it was great then finally I turn back around the flight starts and in the middle of the flight, I put on my headphones, right? The thank, shout out to Phoenix Stand Up Live gave me the Apple uh, over the ear beats okay, okay. as a gift. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> selling out all the shows. <laughs> okay. So wait, 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 wait. Look, can I stop for a second? Did they give you a gift? Let me ask you something. Did they give you a gift? I sold every show too. Yeah. Did you get anything? Well, I did. You I, get a gift? You? They gave you what? Apple Beats over the ear headphones. All right. Okay. After your story, yeah. I'm calling the owner of the club. Yeah. Do it. And I'm, I have a fucking issue. How much are they? 500 bucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. was a nice gift. They gave you Apple Beats. Yeah. Stand up live. The one I sold out to? Yeah. Same one. Okay. Note that. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm mad. Go ahead. <laughs> it's good to be back. Yeah. It's good to be back. So oh. then I put on my headphones and I lay down to go to sleep. I miss the like the the flight attendant coming by to like see if I wanted to eat or drink. I'm out. I'm cold. I'm out cold. Right. Then my body does this. One of those. Oh. And I'm like, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to fucking throw up. 
I fucking, and dude, I get up so fast, my seatbelt still on, right back in the seat. I, nobody saw, thank God. Was it like when, remember I sat next to you, I had diarrhea? Same thing. Same thing. Been Same there, feeling. Been there, done that. This guy. <laughs> yeah. I get up, I rip the seatbelt off. She can kind of tell something's up the way she looked at me. Ooh, Megan I, Fox? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Megan Fox is paying no attention to my loser ass. Just one question. They're behind is me. Is she hot? Huh? Uh, is she hot? Pretty. Is Megan Fox hot? Okay, let's move on. Yeah, fucking, already, what the fuck already, are we talking? Already, I mean, already. Stunning. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, do, yeah. yeah, dude. She could have been covered in shit, in my shit. And I still have been like, she's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I fucking run to the bathroom. I yeah. bust in the door and I'm real dizzy because my blood pressure must be super low because yeah. I'm sick and I haven't eaten anything. So I close the toilet seat and I sit down on it because I'm going to throw up in the sink to the right of me or to the left of me, you know? Because I can't even stand up. I'm so weak. And then I get really woozy. And then, ooh, you know, you hear the Died. fucking, the TV noise. Wow. You passed out. I fainted. I passed out hard. And I woke up. I was on the floor of the bathroom at that point, which, my nightmare. <laughs> my nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Pee all, you know, I wake up sitting on the floor of the bathroom to the flight attendant going, sir, sir, sir. And it's kind of like muffled. I can't really hear it. How did they open it? And I hear, no, no, the door was, oh, I'm sorry. I'm skipping a step. When I sat down on the seat, I opened the door and I said, can I get a cold towel? I, and she goes, sir, we're not supposed to get up right now because the seatbelt sign was on. Yeah. And I said, can I get a cold towel around my neck? And then the door was open at that point. I didn't close it. Thank and then, God. And then you passed out. And then I must have fainted. Were your pants down? Slump. No, dude, I was fully oh, clothed. I was oh, going to throw up. I was oh, about to oh, throw oh, up. Oh, okay. So then I pulled them down after I woke up <laughs> oh, okay, okay. when they were giving me medical attention. <laughs> yeah. So I, f I wake up. My mom's sitting on the floor of the bathroom, and I hear her like shaking me, sir, sir, sir. And then I hear another one going, do we have a doctor? Do we have a doctor on the plane? And I'm kind of coming too, but I can't really come too because I'm like, I feel myself like mumbling. Oh, embarrassing. Yeah, so embarrassing. And I look down to my right, and I have throw Shame. up everywhere i've thrown up oh. all over myself like the amount of throw up is hilarious it's um it's like a fucking it's like a nickelodeon show it's like, <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, like yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they turn on a faucet and she's trying to help me and then this guy shows up who's a doctor who's a psychiatrist but he was a doctor and he's a psychiatrist but he was a doctor but he was a psychiatrist okay he was a doctor <laughs> but he was trying to help me out and she was talking to me and they were making me chug apple juice and they were trying to recount what happened and then he was like did you take drugs or did somebody drug you and i was like no 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 i'm sick something's wrong i have like a bug he gives me narcan narcan for op for people that are fucking having like an od opioid <laughs> opioid uh, uh, od shoves it up my nose and he's like brace and I was like, I don't know if I'm comfortable with Narcan. And then it gets up my fucking schnooze. He just had Narcan on, his, in, on him. They gave him the first aid kit. It has Narcan oh, as an IV bag. He just had him in his pocket. No. I got eight of them. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I can spare one. <laughs> so they goose me with fucking Narcan. He stabs me to give me an IV, but the bag's not working because my positioning's weird. I'm Imagine if you had the stuff. Remember when Batman, the, the Batman? Yeah. At the end when he was fighting the Riddler oh. and his, his army, right? And he pulls out that green thing. Anyway, <laughs> adrenaline. I, I, Ad adrenaline. adrenaline. <laughs> so he narcans me, hits me with an IV. The IV, my vein fucking severs. So the thing is, my arms all bruised, blood squirting every blood is all over the place. I'm sitting in piss. I'm sitting in piss and puke. Not my piss, just airplane, toilet, bathroom piss. Oh, yeah, it could be good piss. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. You don't know whose piss it is. Don't I doubt it. Me. Okay. Boy. Yeah. If it was Megan, Megan Fox's, Fox. yeah, if it was Megan Fox, if it was Megan Fox's piss, it would have been fine. I, yeah, yeah, I would have taken some home. Yeah. Could I get a, can I get a cup, a to-go cup? So I'm sitting in piss and puke all over me, and then MGK comes walking up. Oh, here we go. This is how cool of a guy this guy is. I'm so embarrassed. I'm sitting there. I'm slunched in a fucking <laughs> in the airport bathroom. Oh my god. In the airplane bathroom, and he goes, "Yo, Andrew, are you okay? Do you want some apple juice or orange juice?" And he's got like both. Like he bought it from the store. And I go, I'm literally like, my neck is craned against the, and I go, oh, thanks, MGK. It's very nice of you, man. It's so good. <laughs> I'm craned against the sink. I'm tucked against the it's sink. It's so good. And he, he goes, okay, bro. And then he walks away and the flight attendant's like, do you want your phone? Do you want to call somebody? Because I'm kind of like, they're giving me oxygen because my, <sighs> my blood level, my oxygen level is super low because I passed out. Wow. They take my vitals and she goes, does he know your family? Uh. And I go, we just met. She goes, you guys seem like close friends. And I was like, 
Here no, we he, go. I was like, he's just being very nice. We Stars, don't... love. Well, I, you, know, <laughs> you know, I'm just gay. <laughs> uh, no, so then he comes back like five minutes later. They've got me hooked up to an oxygen tank to level my to get my levels right. Uh -huh. And he's got this sweater in his hand. This oh. is his sweater. This is MGK sweater. He's got it balled up in his hand, and he sees that I'm soiled. <laughs> And he, and, and he goes, yo, do you want my sweater? Because I had taken my sweater off because they were like, take your sweater off. We need to like get, you know, we need to get, be able to take your blood pressure. So I take, I take my sweater off. He could tell I'm in like a shitty old bed, you know, like a nightshirt or something. And he goes, uh, do you want my sweater? And I said, no, dude, I'm going to get, it's got, I have puke and fucking, and he goes, I don't give a fuck. Wow. And he throws it to me and he goes, keep that shit, dude. I don't give a fuck. He's like, he's like, get warm. And I almost started crying. I was like- MGK, <laughs> like like he threw it to a kid at a children's hospital. Thanks, MGK. So he gave me a sweater, like a fucking prince. He hasn't even washed that. <laughs> Why would I wash this? I didn't get anything on it. it smells. Is it bad? <laughs> it smells <soft>. Anyway. <laughs> no, I we washed it when I got home. No, no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, I I didn't. So this was worse than the earthquake concussion uh, uh, in the bathroom. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm telling you right now, that was a good one. Pretty close. <laughs> that was a single shit. So then- That was me, very, very, very provocative. So I'll finish it. Okay. I get up out of my, they're like, can you sit in your seat? At this point, I'm fine. Yeah, I can sit in my seat. I'm woozy. I'm texting my fucking wife. I'm like, you need to pick me up. I canceled my car because I was like, I can't ride in a car because wow. I'm still fucked up. I get back in my seat. I turn to MGK and I just go, sorry, man. Thank you. You're a real one. He goes, I'm just glad that you're good. And I was like, thanks. And then I just couldn't look at any, I just didn't want to look at anybody. I was so embarrassed, you know? And I get off the plane or I, we, we, and then they say, everyone has to stop so the EMTs can come get me. I said, for my own embarrassment, can I just get off the plane? I can walk. I'll meet them in the jet bridge. If you can walk, yeah. I grab my shit, I sprint up the jet bridge. <laughs> I throw this hoodie over my head and I sit in the corner as far as I can, let the fucking paramedics do my vitals and take care, because they have to check you out when you land. They're doing the vitals, I'm texting. I'm getting bing, 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 bing texts. Are you dead? Did you OD? <laughs> You're dead? That Are you fast? dead? Yeah, people were hitting. Someone texted from the flight, Jesse and Carlos, and said, Santino OD'd on my plane. They were saying I fucking overdosed on the flight. Oh, they don't have the information. Then TMZ is calling my agents, you. Yeah, I pick up. Why? <laughs> I love them. No. <laughs> They're my friends. They want to know what's going on. Of course I get, my wife picks me up. We make it. At 5.30 p.m., we're sitting in rush hour traffic. Holy shit. And I'm shaking in the front seat because I can't hold it in. We get to my fucking front lawn. My hand to God, I held out. The moment I opened the car door, rah! <laughs> my neighbor just like, hey, Andrew, <laughs> clipping his fucking wow. hedges. I project out my dog in the window. Rawr, 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 rawr. Wow. I'm holding my asshole. Oh, shit. And for the next four days, I know. I lost nine pounds. <laughs> yeah. I was on the toilet spraying out of my butt. I've never had this kind of, it was water. Every time I sat, <laughs> water. I had to go to the fucking doctor twice. I know. Because I was like, dude, something's wrong. Bro. And my doctor was like, where'd you come from? Where are you going? I said, Nashville, Abu Dhabi. He goes, no, no. He's like, you well, should. Nashville already, you did it already. Yeah, he was like, he's like, he's like. He said no to that. No, he. <laughs> no, you've been there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Go, wow. go back. He went, he goes, I go back in time and change it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he was like, no more. He's like, you can't travel, dude. He's like, you cannot be sitting. He's like, you need to take a, a break. Your body. He's like, even if I give you shit, he's like, you shouldn't be traveling. So it took me four days. I called, oh. I called everyone a million times to say, I'm sorry. Took me four days of losing nine pounds, you know. We were so worried. Uh, but now I'm a cutesy pootsie. <laughs> now I'm a little pinup girl. Yeah. Now I'm a little skinny pinup girl. And I finally feel you better. Didn't, you know, you look like Philadelphia, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you look, you look, when I just and saw And that's you. the last time I'll party with Magic Johnson. You know what, Magic? <laughs> that's enough. Wow. It was a crazy story. Incredible. So shout out to MGK for the sweater. That was very so nice. So we want to apologize to Abu Dhabi. Sorry about that, guys. Who to who? Guys, sorry about that, guys. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. And I know you guys are mad, but there's nothing we can do. I, there's no way we're going to put our boy in jail. I was not allowed to fucking yeah, fly. Yeah, I mean, what? what's going on? Did we get something? Yeah. <laughs> so we got some, let's, let's see what Abu we got Dhabi. here. Give it to me. Yeah, this All is right. straight from uh, UAE. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this <laughs> real? Yeah. This yeah. Is, this is bad, Bobby. 
Blue Chew. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex, baby. You want to bring the heat in the bedroom. You know I do. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. Bobby loves Blue Chew. He loves taking it sometimes middle of the it's show. It's a dietary supplement for me now. Well, sometimes you take it because you're on your way after the show to go see someone, and then see I'm a friend. Because they don't hook up with me. Yeah, and then that does that happens, but that's okay too. <laughs> yeah. You can take them anytime, anywhere, day or night. You can plan ahead, be ready whenever opportunity arises. And the process is simple. All you have to do is sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers. Once you're approved, which you will be, you're going to receive your prescription within days. The best part is all done online, so yep. no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex, okay? Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. We got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free. Come on. When you use our promo code BADFRIENDS at checkout, just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code is BADFRIENDS. B A D. F-R-I-E-N-D-S to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Rocket, Rocket money. money. Hey, man. How much do you think you're spending on subscriptions? Well, not anymore because I was, I was losing thousands and thousands of dollars a year. I got on Rocket Money. Yeah. And now my subscriptions are all done. You've got, you well, you've whittled it down to what you actually use. Exactly. Thank God. I'll tell you something. Most people. Most of them. Most people, you're paying for stuff you don't even know. 74% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. I did. You know Bobby did. Yeah. yeah. And uh, thanks to Rocket Money, no longer wasting money on ones I forgot about. Dude, I had two apps that I signed up for. Mm. A photo app that like you could edit photos or something from like seven years ago that I was still paying money on. Yeah. I was paying a dollar a month. Wow. No idea. Why would I know? But you know, man, people ask, what is Rocket Money? Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted su subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills to, so that you can grow your savings. Hey, and Rocket Money is going to try to negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you got to do is submit a picture of your bill. Rocket Money is going to take care of the rest. They deal with customer service, so you don't have to. Rocket Money has over 5 million users, Holy including moment. these two goofballs, has saved a total of over $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $700. $140 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop yeah. wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash badfriends. That's rocketmoney.com slash badfriends. Rocketmoney.com slash badfriends. We're wanted. Get over alive! I can read it. Who made that? Wanted by the United <laughs> Arab Emirates. I don't know. I know you didn't. Oh, let me read it. Whoa. Okay. You have to read this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. This is, is, this, this is serious, huh? Yeah. Wanted by United Arab Emirates, <laughs> Bobby and Andrew Santino. No call, no, no show. No call, no show. Being, Being stupid, stupid and American, man. disrespectful behavior. Show your anus show to your, anyone with show eyes. Show your anus <laughs> to anyone with eyes. Cancellation, Norfolk, Virginia appears in 2023. <laughs> Don't turn off less successful podcasts to focus all your energy on the once people are actually watching sexual harassment in the workplace, no giving Carlos to the FBI, no giving fancy B to ICE. Wow. Wow. Anyway, uh, thank well, you. Thank, thank, thank you to the fine people of Delta Airlines for being you. a bad friend and taking care of me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Shout out Dr. Warren hey, down in Orange hey, County. Hey, Dr. Warren. Thanks. Thanks for your help, Dr. Warren. Thank you. And Delta. Uh, th thank you. Shout out Delta. Uh, uh, they killed it. Unlike that girl who got mad this past week at Delta. Did you see that thing? But but did you? She's like, screw you, Delta. I missed my best friend's wedding. Did you? It's like you missed the flight. Know how you got it? Did I know how I got? Yeah, is this, it, no, this bug? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so through two, food or through? So I went to the urgent care. Yeah. And I went to my doctor, doctor. Uh -huh. I went to both because I was that scared. Because dude, on day three, I lost six pounds in one day. Wow. And I went to urgent care because I was concerned. I couldn't think right. I was like, you know. And he was like, is there blood? Can are you incoherent or have you passed out again? I said no, no, no. He goes, good. You don't need to go to the emergency room. Okay. But he goes, we'd have to take a stool sample to find out what it really is. But he's like, there's been a lot of these things going around where people are catching these bugs, these flu-like symptomatic bugs, and it rushes through your system. And then, it, but do you get, do you, do you get it by just eating or do you get it by talking to people? Like, how do you get it here? He doesn't know. He, oh, okay. They would. My bad. My bad. But I took the. Flu, I just don't want it. But I took the flu test, the COVID test. I took all those tests. There's nothing. No, nothing. Nothing. Wow. Couldn't explain it. But he was like, this is not the first time I've seen this. He's like, I've seen people, this is not, this is, I've seen people get these stomach things in the last couple of months. I don't even know what it is. 
He's like, could be something that's new in Nashville that hasn't made it back here yet. He's like, you, I have no idea. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. But no, I don't think it's that contagious because no one I was hanging out with, you know? Yeah. Zach, uh, um, uh, Zach Townsend, who opened the shows, fine. Court it's McCown, fine. fine. Court did it too? Yeah. Love those guys. Those, fine. They're yeah. fine. Yeah. So. Well, I'll tell you something that I realized. Hmm. I went to, I went to Tony Hin, Hin, Hinchcliffe's show at the Forum. Yeah. How was that? You're packed. I yeah. Was, it was incredible. Yeah. Uh, thousands, like 10, 15,000 people. That's why he canceled on us. He did? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, people on the internet go after him. But, uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Joel at Patchko. Hey. Hey, Joel. I'm, I'm here with Andrew Santino. You're on Bad Friends. What's going on? Hey, buddy. Uh, hey, buddy. I just want to ask you a question. Is that cool? Sure. And if you don't want this on the internet, that's fine. We can cut it out. But um, So Andrew played your club at Stand Up Live. We love the club, by the way. So one of the best comedy clubs in America. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And Andrew's, Andrew and I, do we both, I mean, I, did I, do, did I make you happy with the shows or? Oh, no, you're incredible. Yeah, yeah. Both of you were yeah. great. We all sold out, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's interesting that Andrew got, <laughs> um, your, air, what is it? Apple. AirPods, man. Air, AirPods, headphones. Gosh. A, 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 okay, a, go ahead. A, a, what a, a, did you get? <laughs> did you? Oh yeah, you got me shoes. <laughs> yeah, badass shoes. You fucking spoiled brat. <laughs> Hang up the phone. Joel, I'm so sorry. Joel, I forgot. Joel, I'm so sorry. I forgot, I forgot. Fuck you. Oh fuck, I'm so sorry. I love you, Joel. Apologize. I'm Apologize. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll play next year. Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. They were golden goose. Oh my. Shoes. Oh, I know they were good shoes. He's a fucking asshole. He said you didn't get him anything. I, 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 Joel, have a good day. Bye, guy. Bye, Bye dude. Wait, okay. You're a, first of all, I, you're a, such a fucking I, asshole. I, 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 this is exactly. Oh my God, I fucking forgot. This feels so right. This it feels, feels wrong. so right. No, it feels so right. I, you're right. He bought me these eight hundred fifty dollar pair of shoes. Fuck you. And I've been wearing them. I, and then, but I forgot. So I'm like, I wonder where I got these shoes. Such a piece of and shit. And now I connect it. So anyway. Okay, you happy now? I feel so embarrassed. Okay, so f to make it even, you have to let me piss on those shoes and throw them away. <laughs> you have okay, to let me pee right, and puke on them. Okay, 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 okay. Did you get FOMO from the Netflix luncheon photo? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say that. I almost texted you about it because... I edited myself in. I have a photo of you. <laughs> oh, you in it? Yeah, I'm in it. Show me the Netflix luncheon photo. You were invited. <laughs> no, we weren't. No, we weren't. You were invited to do this, the show. This is just for people who did the No, no, no. That's, uh, you know, that's funny because let me say something, okay? Yeah, Congress, that one, yeah. All right. I've been doing my investigation. Yeah. And I've been doing my homework. That is not correct. Why not? There are people there that didn't even have anything to do with any shows. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, so let, 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 uh, 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 case this in point. He, no, Rock. case in point. Go to the left. He didn't do anything. No, case he, in point. He probably Eric. did. Eric Griffin. <laughs> I call Eric. I go, oh, hey, bud. I, I saw the photo. I go, hey, I go, hey, bud. I didn't. No, well, he he brushes Matt Rife's hair at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. I go, hey, but I didn't. Did you do any Netflix shows? He goes, no, nah, man. They just I just went to the did lunch. No. Yeah. So no, I mean, Paulie's there celebrating next to Jimmy Carr. There's some really good people there. Shang Wang. Some you, dude. dude here's everyone. What, here's. That's here. Yeah, everyone's there. And here's and look my, at that Kreischer in the pool next the to pool, next yes. to Ted Sarandos. Yeah. So, no, this is this is a fun photo. It's Good. a great. I'll tell you why I have FOMO. Yeah, you because do. everyone in that photo are people that I either know or I completely respect, and it's like I'm like you know one day, maybe I'll go. No. Now, how did you feel when you saw it? I be real. If I, do you want me to because be... I've talked to Esther about it, and yeah. she, you know, I mean, she's FOMO. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, I think you know me well enough to know better. I think everybody in this room knows. I. Couldn't fucking care less. Me either. This means nothing. <laughs> Why? Who cares? So this is so meaningless. I mean, listen to me. This is funny. A zoo in China has been accused of dyeing dogs black and white to look like pandas. <laughs> brilliant. That's what they do in Mexico. Isn't that That's brilliant? so brilliant. Well, the dogs are all gone. It, this is the Dude. save. This is the save the dogs. Mm. This is the save the dogs campaign. They got to pull them off the streets, and so they had to put them somewhere. These dogs. The dogs couldn't roam around the streets of China, so they had to put them somewhere. Dog eating joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got it. I just 
Yeah, got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. A zoo in China is painted. It's so funny to paint it. That dog, actually, I would love a panda dog. Yeah. Dude, those are so cute. I would 100% buy a panda dog. Dye that thing permanent. Yeah. <laughs> What is that? Hell's Angels having homoerotic. All right. Anyway, let's. Okay, 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 no, this, this is so interesting. Do you know about this? There's a bunch of photos that are going on the internet that have been like revived from Hell's Angels, yeah. LA division, right? Aren't these Los Angeles Hell's yes. Angels? Yes. Yeah, these are West Coast Los Angeles Hell's Angels. They would make out with other angels like this. Look at that guy. Yeah, yeah. And they did it to to what is it? Display of a comfortability in their own masculinity. And if other people got uncomfortable, they would beat the shit out of them and, See, and that's kill them. Why I do it? No, it's not. That, no, honestly, hey, last yeah. No, right. you guys do no, it because you're I, gay. No, no, I'm not. I'm I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now to do it. Look, no, no, See? No, I, no, dude, you just hit. I, that's I got to fucking listen. Okay. No, this is because you're gay. <laughs> no, it's not because I'm gay. You do no, check it out, dude. These guys do it because they want to start a fight. They're no. looking to fight. So. At Tony's show, Hinge Club show, right? Mm -hmm. I went. I bet you a lot of this shit was going on at Tony's show. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I went and gave Hans Kim an award. What was it? To induct him in the uh, Tony Hall of Fame, whatever. So I walked up with the award, and I, I see. Um, Congratulations. <laughs> they had to get you yeah, to give it to him? Yeah, yeah. And I see um, Dr. Phil to my left, Adam, right? <laughs> yeah. In front of the big crowd, and he stood up, and I stood up. And we just kissed on the lips. You and Adam. You, Dr. Yeah. Phil, sorry. Uh, yeah, Dr. Phil. And there's a there's a sense of like, it seems cool. The, to whom? To uh, us. Yeah. Like, we're so above it almost. Like, this is like, we see past, you know what I mean? How far does it go? More, that's it. Okay. All right? Then last night. I'm just saying, dude. Last night, I was at the fucking, um, Josh Adam Myers at the fucking, uh, his show. Another gay kissy show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, I went, I, so I do my set, and then he came out to sing a song with a duet. Yeah. And then during the song, we just looked at each other and we kissed twice on the lips. <laughs> See, I think this is gay. It's shit. not gay. It's not gay. It's gay. It's shit. not gay. It's yeah. like, we're artsy. We're above it. But see, people use art as a distraction. <laughs> What's funny, dude? No, I relate. That's what it, you're right. Do you do, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah come here right now. This is some Catholic school. Yeah, come here right now. Dude. Yeah, right this now. is Training. repression. This yeah. is repression, is what this is. You guys are. It's like this. It's like. Yeah, it's for the laughs. Yeah, for the. <laughs> Look, he wants more. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. God, I don't want. That's what it is. I just don't get it. Have I done it with you? No. <laughs> I've kissed you on the lips before. On the cheek. We kiss you. I'll kiss you on the cheek. <laughs> on the lips. No. Yeah. Yeah. He's done all. Yeah. You, you've done lips. For the gag. You, you, you've done it to act artsy. <laughs> <laughs> I, we did it live. At one of the fucking gigs, right? And you looked at me and, you, and you, you were in one of those like Basquiat moods. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm Rembrandt, whatever. And you were like, <laughs> you looked at me, you locked my eyes away when we did it. And then you kind of went, yeah, that was cool. That's what they're doing. It's Fuck the you. The rest of the country is right. We are weirdo <laughs> no, lunatics. Not. Yeah, West Coast. It's this like when David Bowie and fucking Lou Reed and Mick Jagger used to kiss on the lips, right? Okay. That's not, they're not gay. They're fucking artsy, dude. Art is gay. CBGB. Art is gay. <laughs> right? We just, you know. Art is gay. Yeah. The, the album below. We were in Germany. <laughs> Iggy, Iggy and David Bowie, you know, they were in Germany together. We fucked. That looks like. Uh, I love it, dude. I wish I was a Hell's Angel back then. That looks like me and, and Raj Sharma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You and Mo Amber. And, yeah, me and Mo Amber. <laughs> And, and why is yeah. Daniel Stern watching yeah, over Daniel us? Stern, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fucking nuts, dude. Rick Lassman. Rick Lassman's there. But what's wild oh, about this gross. is it would start fights. These guys would, and they'd fight to the death for some of these guys for criticizing the sexuality, which is ironic because they also were homophobic. They would go beat the shit out of any minority, black, gay, Jewish, if they felt so. Yeah. I mean, but they're two different things. It's, it blows, You're acting as if they're they're completely two different things. No. Hunter S. Thompson wrote, "They can't stand it." Says Terry, it blows their mind every time, especially the tongue bit. The side of a photographer invariably whips the Hell's Angels into a kissing frenzy. So whenever there's someone taking photos, they start kissing. Tongue. That's what it says. Hunter S. Thompson wrote all about it. And Hell's Angels oh, is a great book. Tongue. Have you done tongue? Carlos? Tongue is not artsy. I've done tongue once. It was all with who? Um, uh, a guy kissed me in the back of an Uber and he stuck his tongue down my throat and I kissed back because I didn't want to be mean. Now you know how girls feel. <laughs> exactly. When they put up when they put up with some fucking creepo dude. Yeah, I just had to put out so that it wouldn't be awkward. I went on a date with a girl from Los Feliz and at the end of the date, I turned 
I go into Kiss, and she went, the Cobra. And I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got Cobra. I got Cobra too? You got Cobra. The Cobra. <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> yeah, and I kissed her cheek. Whoa. You know, you know, when you go in for a kiss, guys, we all have done it. We've all done it, right? Yeah, but, uh, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you have? Yeah, but I mean, I rare, I've rarely gotten Cobra. I, I think I only know. I never got Cobra. Well, I go in when I know it's pro- appropriate. I th- sometimes my instinct's wrong, but I go. I think this is the right time. Obviously, you were wrong. I was wrong. Where was I it? Outside Cobra. of the restaurant? No, it was dropping her off at, at her house. So you turn in the car. So I'm like, oh, a great night. She goes, yeah, me too. We should do it again. I go, yeah. <laughs> Cobra. Cobra. <laughs> what did you say? What do you then say after she doesn't go, oh, give oh, oh, oh. You make it like a little. Oops, oh, have oopsie, a good night. Oopsie, oopsie. Do you, oopsie do you get out and open her door? No. Have you ever opened a door for a girl? It's funny. Last night I was I was with a girl at dinner, and then she goes, "You're not gonna open the door for me," which I've, I've never, heard, like, I've never. No one's ever asked. It's like a real white thing. Yeah. Really? It's, was it a white chick? Yeah. Oh, you got to do it. White people love it. White girls like stuff like that. Yeah, that reminds me. I, I want to. I want to write it down. So, what else do whites like? White girls. What do whites like? Yeah. They like when you hold the door for pumpkin them in a spice. restaurant. Pumpkin I already got pumpkin spice. Lattes. I have to spray. Yeah, any kind of, any kind I of lattes. I have to spray in my car when I go on a date. So pumpkin spice, they like the door open. Flowers, oh, any flower. Yeah. But you could pick a flower off the fucking side of the road. They right. love it. They don't Pl- care. Platinum cards. No, they don't care as long as you're paying. Okay, whatever card. Yeah, whatever card. It doesn't matter. Whatever long, card. Long you, you, you need money, though. You not it. Got to have money. You got to have money. They it, love a good deal. They love, like, thrifting. So they love, like, they, th- they like chic thrifting. So I go to a- Oh my God, you want to get some real good white pussy? Store. Go to a farmer's market. I went to one with them. That's where all the girls are. Yeah, and we got granola. Oh, they love that <laughs> shit. They love granola, dude. They love granola. Buy their own honey yeah, and shit like yeah. that? They're yeah. really into that coconut yogurt. Yeah. Yeah, so we yeah white, coconut chi- white chicks coconut like yogurt, a lot of bullshit like Farmer's that. market, right? Yeah. Uh, what else? Aloe. You know what aloe is? Yeah, don't talk to me like that. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's workout gear. Okay, aloe worker. It's like uh, they, it's like Lulu Lululemon. Lululemon. Okay, okay. But the aloe is like the new shit. It's like more. Is it really a, a workout gear? Aloe, aloe? Hey, aloe. Look it up. It's okay. popular as okay, fuck. Aloe, I okay. see it all the time. So aloe. Aloe. They like. It's yeah, like yeah. a hip. You know. Yeah. They love Pilates. Go yeah. hang out outside of a Pilates class. What a fisting? Huh? <laughs> fisting. Fisting. I think you're gonna get less than one percent. No, I mean a pound. I mean a pound. Oh, they love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I had the word wrong. But oh, so so. <laughs> and they love Palm Springs. That's why people love Palm Springs. The location. They just like to go out there. The desert. I don't even know what the fuck they do. They love it. There. They just go take a picture in front of that sign that says drugs at that hotel that mm, every girl like. Look mm. at the fuck. Look at Palm Springs drug sign. Watch this. Look at how many fucking white girls are below this thing. Yeah, that fucking dumb sign. Whatever it is. Whatever hotel that is. It looks like dolphins. Yeah. I know this. They love dolphins. They love dolphins. <laughs> Dude, I dated four girls in my life with dolphin pat tattoos. Shut the fuck up. Where are they? They're like either in the back or like on the shoulder. Really? Like they're just really smart creatures, right? And they're just like sentient beings. So are pigs. Pigs. Are I know smart. exactly. Get a pig back there because you, you look like a pig. Anyway. Uh, oh my god. No, that's, too <laughs> that's too much. That's too much. Uh, get a pig tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, so, I'd actually respect it. Second smartest animal on the planet next to humans. Yeah, Who says yeah. we're the smartest on this fucking planet? But I, are they I disagree smart? with that. Because I saw that documentary. I don't know the cove. <laughs> I okay, side I'm with a I side with I'm the poachers. I side I, with the poachers. Yeah, me too. I'm a dolphin, right? I see a bay. It's filled with dolphin blood. Yeah. All right. It's just eyeball, a dolphin eyeballs floating around. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, g- 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 there's a part rave. There's a rave. <laughs> g- 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 g-. You know what I mean? If I'm in the alleyway and I see a, a human hand, I'm not gonna walk down the alleyway. Hello. It's not even a bit. I'm not doing. That sounds like a comedy bit. I'm doing. I'm not, I would never do. It's a good thing. bit. It's a good bit, and it's true. Are they smart? They're, they're apparently they're second to us, but which means nothing because look at how dumb we are. Exactly, yeah. is what I'm saying. Because we love self destruction, huh? We're the number one at destroying. I think otters are smart. Complex problems solving and understanding abstract situations, so they understand. They kiss. <laughs> but for the, art. for the art, yeah, not the because art. they yeah, like for it. the art. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, it's not gay. It's just uh, you know. <laughs> Why you, it's okay if it's gay. You're gay. It's fine. I love gay. Yeah, I know. I love gay. I Not love only are they time. adorable, they're also incredibly intelligent, have unique ad- adaptations. Sea otters uh-huh. are intelligent. See? See, otters, because they can also build shit. You know why they're so smart? They're ugly. 
They're fucking hideous looking. Yo, otters are the cutest creature. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, sea otters are ugly. They know they got to be smart when they're that fucking ugly. Let me see. Sea otter. Bro, cute as fuck. What are you talking <laughs> I about? I got a good photo. You have a Hitler fucking mustache. <laughs> That's a good photo. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the dude. <laughs> Bro. I want one. I know. Exactly. <laughs> Those are great. They're, so, they're great, dude. Look at that. I'll tell you what's funny. We had raccoons in the backyard for so long. And raccoons, they're little assholes, but they're so cute. Too cute. Too, too, too. What? What's going on? Don't even get me started with raccoons right now. Bro. Don't you get me started. <laughs> Don't get me fucking started with the raccoon. I have I have six rat traps set up in my backyard, the biggest ones I can find to try to catch one of these motherfuckers. I'm not right kidding. now in my driveway. Guess what's on it? Coons, baby. No, <laughs> kung pao chicken. Kung pao chicken. Kung pao chicken. Oh, okay. I, I thought you meant like kung pao, like you made it. A... All right, so I went to um um Cohen. What's his name? Genghis Cohen. Genghis Cohen. Yeah, I love that place. Right, and I got three dishes. Yeah, beef and broccoli, mm. sweet and sour pork. Got a white rice. Yes. And I got kung, kung pao chicken. Yeah, so good. All right. So I'm eating. You know what I do? You I over, eat. You eat you I, over, yeah. I over order. You take one bite of each and you throw it away. Right. So right. I'm like, oh, fuck. I want to fuck with this kung pao chicken. But I'll, if I put it in the fridge, it'll be there for nine months. At least. Yeah, yeah. So I go, I'm just going to keep it in the box and stick it in a trash, you know, in the trash bag, put it in the trash. Bro. Can't do that. Kung pao chicken all over my face. Oh, yeah. You did that. To and yourself. I won't even clean it. You knew about it. Anyway, they clean it. <laughs> right, no, they. You've, they ate what they needed and then they're done. And then come back tonight, tomorrow night and <laughs> clean it. Did they the, knock over the can or they just open the lid? They somehow climb on top of it. I've seen them open it up. And they can balance like Circus shit. Yeah, it's amazing. Right? And they can get the Kung Pao out. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, no, it's incredible. I've yeah. seen some of their, their skills are incredible. But if, is it illegal to murder one? No, nah, we looked it up. You can catch them, but you, you're not supposed to kill them. But if you do kill them, who's going to know? Throw it in the LA River. But they're so cute too. Some of them, for sure. Yeah. You can kill it any time, day or night, in any legal manner. Hey. Is that what it says? <laughs> yeah, California. If it's causing property damage, you can kill it. Is eating Kung Pao chicken property damage? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to kill uh, it. I don't want to kill I can't kill it, but. I don't know. I don't know if that's eating, if that's, it's, it's not like ripping up your lawn or anything. It's not doing anything. Yeah. I know what I'm going to do. Imagine that Bobby has Sign to go to court for killing a raccoon. <laughs> you can use a lethal body grip trap that will snap its neck, or you can shoot it. Don't attempt to poison it. Why? You wind up with bigger problems on your hands. A CO2 so no two chamber. That sounds like a mafia threat. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna try to fucking poison me and the other boys. You're gonna end up with a bigger problem than you have a fucking wish. All right. Morgan and Morgan. Oh my God, you've been in accidents. Ow, ow, ow. What happened? Oh, I just I got into you. an accident. I hit you. Ow, why would you hit me? Yeah, what are you going to do now, bud? I'm going to call Morgan and Morgan, oh, pal. You know no. why? Because they're America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 1,000 lawyers. Oh, you're no. done for, pal. Morgan Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying to you. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 100,000 lawyers. More than 1,000 lawyers. With over 20 billion recovered from over 500,000 clients. Morgan and Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. You know what? You know what, dude? What, dude? Walking the entire wall of China is hard. Yeah. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan and Morgan is easy. Yeah, I got one. Understanding what Terrence Howard is talking about is hard. <laughs> but submitting an injury claim with Morgan and Morgan is easy. If you're ever injured, and I hope you're not, but if you are ever injured, you can check out Morgan and Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash bad friends or dial pound law pound five two nine from your cell phone. That's for the people, F O R the people.com slash bad friends. Or pound law, pound 529 from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. Ming, Ming, Ming has been, you know, I bought a brand new couch. Oh my God, please tell me Ming ruined your couch. Not just ruin it, she, and I'm, I have to take her to the hospital. How much was that couch? Uh, 15, 10, 15,000. $15,000. $10, and the cat fucking ruined it. Not just ruin it, she pees and then there's blood in her pee. Why? She's dying? No. I think she has a UTI or something. <laughs> Just like her papa. Yeah. Yeah. And so I put down saran wrap. <laughs> On the couch? Yeah. What are you, my grandmother? That's yeah. so funny. Like saran wrap. Just night, wrap the furniture? I come in the morning, I see pockets of pee <laughs> and blood it, on my new couch. I catch it with the saran wrap. Why don't you just put her in a room like- I that, can't because she's a free. She's a free. She's a free bird. She's a free bird, dude. And she's half black, half white. She's free. She's like Obama. Yeah. Which and does so she identify? I I, so Is she white passing or black passing? 
She's definitely white. She's white passive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Until she needs to use he that. He talks like this if she was like a human. Right. Like, hi, I'm Ming. But then around other black cats, does What's she like, up? yeah, she gets into character. <laughs> What's up, um, yeah. cat? Yeah, meow, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah, meow, motherfucker. Meow, motherfucker. That could also be its Asian name, so, meow. So meow. <laughs> so here, check this out. Mm. I bought, they delivered it. So I bought this stuff called Nature's Miracle Advanced Platinum No More Marking Potty Trainer for Indoor. What is it? I bought two bottles of it. You, I don't know what it is. It just drinks it? No, and I'm going to spray it all over my couch. Oh, so ruin the couch more. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't care. Right, at this because, point. Because, and you're going to think this is a joke? You're going to think this is a joke? I swear to God, I'm my mother's life this happened. Yeah. Okay? A week ago, I was with a girl on my new couch. Hooking up. We were making out. Hell yeah. All right? And she rolled... On not just the pee, but she had poo two poos in there. Cute, right? And so when she got up, I could see the poo stuck to her fucking teeth, <laughs> right? And I, 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 you know, I saw, hey, it was, you know, what I mean, let's go to the bedroom, and I knocked her off with my hand, <laughs> and we went to the fucking because I know I, how do you say there's poo on you? It ruins the vibe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it ruins the vibe. You I can't think. tell I her. Think, I, I don't know, <laughs> right? And I knocked it off, and I still haven't hung out with her since. She doesn't know though. She doesn't know. She does now. I think when I dropped her off, she probably looked at her shirt and goes, why is there, you know what I mean? Imagine she was embarrassed. She's like, I went over to the guy's house with poop on my shirt. She didn't know it came from your house. Oh, shit. She could have thought she brought poop. I could have just blamed her like, hey, bitch. Bitch, don't come over to my Wash house. Wash your fucking shirt. Why do you have cat pee and poo on your back? Fucking shit shirt. Dude, you, you so, I, I don't think as quick as you Spin did. it, dude. Dude, I have to spin those situations, You dude. have to. Be like, get wow, your shit dude. shirt off my couch. Yeah. It's like I used to, when I was a kid- <laughs> <laughs> Me and my friend Brian Bradley, we used to steal weed from this guy's house, right? Yeah. And so after we would steal it, because we knew that we went to this dude went to work, and we when he would come back from work, we would go to his house and buy weed from him. <laughs> <laughs> You'd steal it, then buy it. Yeah, we'd steal and buy. And he goes, and he would go look, and he'd freak out like, "Oh my weed's gone!" You're like, "Well, we'll pay you for some." Yeah, and we go, "Let's let us help you." <laughs> Because if you're that guy, yeah. right, then you don't think that they're other people. No, why would they steal from me? They just bought from me. Yeah. It's actually it's brilliant. Spun, that, so I should do that with the cat pee poo thing. You 100%. Yeah, spin yeah, yeah. it on him a spin little Spin it. You got to spin it, dude. One time I pretended to roll up a joint from this girl's weed at her birthday party when we were in England. Uh -huh. We went to like a random house party. Yeah. And my buddy Travis was like rolling up the weed. And the British guy was like, here you go. Here's our tin. Roll up. You, 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 know, you guys know how to roll up. And he gave him like the whole tin of weed. Yeah. And Travis looked at me and was like, so let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We took our tin of weed and we walked out. Wow. So mean. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And they were looking for you? It was a party. He thought he was like, because he was like, he was like the cool American guy's going to roll do? up a blunt. What would you do? We went to your party, Carlos, and we stole a tin of weed from you. If you guys literally did? No, just, like, we're, no, my name is uh, Marcos. Mar Marcos. Marcos. We're from Sp Spain. And I'm Wilfred. I'm from Sweden. I and feel like I'd be legitimately really upset. Oh, hey, what are you going to do about I'm it, Marco, pussy? I, I'm Marco. I'm from Sweden, too. Yeah, I need my, <laughs> I need I want my to weed the back. Same country. Why do we have to be from different countries? Well, you don't know how to do accents. I know, but I want to be... Okay, you're from Sweden. Yeah, yeah. I'm Marcos. I'm a Marcos from Sweden. I'm a Marcos from Sweden. And I need my weed back because I'm addicted. No, we're not so done. We No, it's just what we walk in. <laughs> <laughs> just let us do that. All right, go. I'm Marco. No. <laughs> you are Marco. What? I'm a Wilfred, you're a Marcos. I, I'm a Marcos from <laughs> Sweden. Hey, man, you got any bad for us to smoke? You have the cockroach for us? No? <laughs> yeah, here's a whole thing. You know? Oh, is that called tin of your a, marijuana? A lot of oh. marijuana, no. Can we take it outside with Can us? Can we take it? No. Oh. Really? Really? Oh, you do it right here. Uh, oh, hold on. Wait. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Because when you get you, him to when look the other way. Yeah, you have to do that. Right. Look over there. So if you're if you're at home, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you're gonna steal weed from somebody, <laughs> just do the whole look over there. <laughs> and that never worked. I don't think. Look over there. Yeah, look, yeah. And then we would have to run. We I bet you look over there does work. Look, what is that? Oh, look. What is that? And then you just walk away with the weed we casually. Say what it is. What is that? Uh, 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 ghost. <laughs> <laughs> too fat. Too slow. Yeah, what is that? Is what is that? Is that a crack in the foundation of the home? Get him to really good. start well, looking oh, yeah, for yeah, something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your lamp fixture's on fire. Well, no, it'd have to be on fire then for it to be real. Oh, shit, all right. It looks crooked. Yeah. Do, something, do oh, a yeah, small, yeah. meticulous oh, let me, detail. Oh, give me another shot. Yeah, small detail. Yeah. 
Dude, is that black mold on your tile? On your skyle tile? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah? Yeah, yeah. There's a hole in that grout in the corner. There's yeah, a huge I want to create my own, though. Please. Yeah. Is that grass growing inside your living room? It's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they take two seconds to look, uh, and then uh, they're like, no. Oh, how about this? I like your rug. Where'd you get that? West Elm. That now, huh? But the they're still looking at you. Oh, fuck. I'm not good at it. No. I'm not good at stuff like that. Try to look over there. Look over there. There we go. Gone. Gone. Okay, anyway. Don't steal weed. Don't steal weed. Uh, you know what? Steal it. Steal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, it, it, who cares now? You can just go to the store and buy it. There's way too many stores that sell weed, by the way. There was a weed store next to the Home Depot, and I was like, okay. You know what's crazy? The accessibility. <laughs> what is it for? I know, I know. It's like, really? But the accessibility of mushrooms now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. It's just laying around. Last night, the comedy was just laying around, big you know, bags. Well, you know what's how funny that is? So I get mushrooms every time I go to the comedy store. Yeah. And our friend Carol that hooks us up that we love from New Tropics. And I, I have a basket of party. I have a party drug basket at my house. So when people come over, I always have weed for people. Mushrooms. I've never seen this. You're not invited. I don't show it to you. Okay. Okay. For very obvious reasons. Yeah, I was just trying to think of where when you were so when you were not sober. I definitely didn't want to show it to you. That bums me out. Well, because you would consume at a rate that was probably dangerous. I know. I just thought that maybe we could have a fun night. Yeah, but like together, you just go too far. Yeah, but like if you went too far with me, that could be fun once. Yeah, I mean, I've been fucked up with you, Carlos. I know. We should just do it. We party. No, we're not going to party. You're okay, sober. I know, I know, I know. No more. I know. I party with you. No more. I can, we can't reminisce on No that. enticing. Why, why can't I? Because that's against the we fucking party rules. Together. Party together, dude. No more party stuff. I have a basket of drugs at my house. And when the movers came to move us, the guy was like, hey, I'm so sorry. I can't legally move drugs. No. My wife was like, what are you talking about? He's like, there's a basket in the laundry room that's filled with drugs. <laughs> no. Yeah, we have it for when people come over for parties. Wow. Because when I have people come over, I'm always like, here, here's drugs if you want them. You know. Wow. Now, it's a courtesy. It's a when, nice thing. When am, like, I, when am I, it's kind of rude. I know you've been sick, but you haven't invited me over. So you're no one's come over to my house. I just moved in. I literally just moved in. Like, I, is there like a, a am, house, am I going to have a housewarming house party? Yeah. yeah, you guys got the invite, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't get anything. You didn't get anything? No. You're, the, the joke was that. I know, and I was doing a the separate part. The I know. Joke. It did, wasn't working. <laughs> yeah. When you do offshoot jokes I know, from the I jokes, was doing an offshoot. it never works. I was doing an offshoot. Isn't right. that interesting how <laughs> yeah, far yeah. he's fallen? He's fallen so That's bad. That's you fallen far. Your instincts are wrong. It was an offshoot. Okay, then I'll, I don't relax. Even think, I'll relax. No, uh, then. no, uh, no. <laughs> Whoa, dude. I don't even, I don't even, don't you joke understood around. the joke. I think you just said that. I don't know. And then, I understood and then, it. No, no I and did. And then when I said I it was did. an option, you're like, oh, no, no, it's an option. I understood so the far. Fuck, get your mind together, dude. No, I, well, you can't fool a fooler. <laughs> you can't fool a fooler. You can't fool a fooler. No, nice he's try. right. Damn yeah. it. Yeah. You can't. This, by the way, this is stolen valor. You're trying to you're act feeling like you're the valor, a fooler. Dude. You're not a fooler, bud. Stolen valor. You're not a fooler. Yeah. Don't fool a nope, fooler. Joan that's of Arc. A, that's a real fucking fool right here. Joan of Arc is valor, dude. This is a grade A fucking fool head. You're not fooling a fool head, pal. My back. I'm I'm foolish beyond my years. Beyond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's got infinity, 52 years. infinity foolishness. Oh my God! Speaking Dude. of which, before we go any further, yeah. yeah, did we watch Terrence Howard on Joe Rogan? No. Everyone in this fucking room has an assignment. You need to go home and watch this entire interview. It would it's going to blow your fucking mind. Is he Terrence is, good? <laughs> better than good, buddy. Better than good. He's going. He goes off. He goes ham, Sam. He's like the. He is like a neuroscientific cat. Cat Williams. Wow. He's gone. He's gone. Loved it's it. fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. He's loopy poopy. Look up one fucking clip of this guy. I can't wait. Remember. Yeah. They have a thing called zero. They 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 go from one to zero to right. negative one. There is no zero to even. Hold on. The guy that got fired from Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I've sat in a garage in high school, yeah. getting stoned out of my fucking mind, yeah. and heard this in the background, <laughs> and then had to go, right, right. I got to get back to my mom's house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the amount of times high in a garage in high school. Get an Xbox. That's what I do. This, But this is seriously, this conversation is happening right now in someone's garage. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. One guy's going, the magnetism was never stood still. And then that's me too high going, I got to go back to my mom's house. I got to go get a Gatorade at the gas station and go back to my or, mom's or, house. Or there was one guy going, yeah, dude. Yeah, not paying oh. attention at all. Doesn't know what the fuck he just said. He goes, 
Forget it. By the way, this is how wonky this shit is. Go halfway, go halfway down. Go halfway just in the middle and now listen to where he's at now. Go ahead. There. I don't need anything else because they just they didn't want me to go and talk about this. And that's why I went out there and said, hey, pull out your calculator. <laughs> wow. What the fuck are we talking wow, about? Wow, 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 like, wow. Pull out your calculator. You listen to the whole thing. It's uh, it's 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 it, you know, it's like it, it's like um, it's what I imagine reading the Bible would be like. Wow. It's eating the thickest piece of chocolate cake. It's annoying as fuck. I could I couldn't stop listening to it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what in the fuck? The first recorded zero appeared in Mesopotamia around 3 BC. The Mayans invented it independently circa 4 AD. He would have a twist on this. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I want to be real for a second. Let's, can we just, I'm a lay person. Ditto. Excuse me? I just said ditto, you fucking moron. Okay. I, that's an agreeance. I'm saying me too. Okay, let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. touche, my friend. By the way, how far away is this show from that show? <laughs> it's the polar opposite. No, I'm a peasant. Okay. Yeah, same. I'm a lay person, and yeah. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that means. So, what does that mean? What does what mean? How is zero invented in Mesopotamia? I think zero was something that was just like always a part of. Now he's saying zero is pub. They're saying it was publicly recognized as a thing that Mayans used, but is it as calculation? <laughs> They had to but make the idea of zero is something that's just a truth, no? Now you're Terrence Howard. <laughs> now you're Terrence. What I'm saying Congrats, is, is that Howard. there's a caveman, right? One caveman had three sticks. Yeah. I don't know what they collected. Rocks. Rocks. And were... one caveman didn't have any. That's zero. Well, they killed that guy. You had nothing. Oh, yeah. like you killed the guy with the zero. Zero is dead. Right. If you had nothing, you die. Right. Am I? Okay, I guess. You're not wrong. No, explain it to me, man. What are they talking about? When they st they started to recognize zero as a numerical identification of nothing. So there was a point in time that, that no one really knew that. There was a point in time when I'm sure it wasn't communicated clearly. Okay. It's like gravity. It existed before people knew what it was. I know, but, but it's, that's my point. They used to use gravity a blank always space. existed, though. Look at that. They use a no, blank. Sure. At first, they'd use a blank space to indicate a nothing as a value. And when that grew confusing, they began using a pair of angled wedges as a placeholder for blank space. Oh, the, so the little circle of it. Yeah. The symbol of it. Yeah, the symbol. You mean the zero? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, zero. And I'm, Physically zero. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'm like, am I drowning? No. No, honestly, am I drowning? Am I tardy? No, you're trying to figure out zero. No, buddy, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, it's, it, uh, yeah. Okay. It, it's, an, it's relatively new. It's only... It's only 3,000 years old. <laughs> also, God bless the guy for having a new enlightenment. God about, bless America. Yeah, God bless America. God bless Terrence Howard. Um, I it just he said he's going to reinvent the periodic table. Wow. He said it's he said it's vertical and it's through sound. Colors are sound. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. I hope it all comes true. I googled when marriage became an institution. It's 4,300 years ago. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. Yeah, but what did they do before? I know what they did. What do you mean before marriage? What did they do? There was like two. There, there were groups, right? Tribes, and like two or three alpha male dudes just pretty much fucked everybody. Right. And then guys like me and Carlos and uh, Andreas, not you, Macon. I think you're one of the members. We were just we were cucks or something. We jerked off in the for watching. You def yeah for sure you're yeah historically you in another universe yeah. was cucking you guys were cucking fancy but then wasn't people like cucking. us invited invented a word you know what that word is <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I can't put it I'm just saying that's what happened I think yeah you need to watch it I want to watch it because I, I think it'll help me go to sleep <laughs> yeah you're not gonna retain any information yeah I don't think so what is this evil laugh competition. Oh, oh, shit. I would wow. love to try. You would crush. All right. Let me hear. <laughs> now, these guys are all practicing what they're going to do after they shoot up the school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> For, that one's pretty good. <laughs> Just pause it. What did he say? This is an American thing? Yeah. 
No, there's nerds all over the fucking yeah, yeah. world. <laughs> Look at you, you fucking nerd. This yeah, is yeah. this is just a different kind of nerd. Yeah. You're a vi you're a visual fucking nerd. These are sound dorks. <laughs> you like fucking cameras and also they filming. wouldn't invite you to the party, fuck. Yeah, you wouldn't get invited. You're not even invited to that party, dude. Yeah, because you'd have to you'd have to bring. Oh, a, let's do it. Let's try a symbol. You do one for us. No, you go first. You wanted to try. Let me. Just, can I just? I've never done it before. Let's well, let's hear one more. I want to hear the last. Yeah, yeah. I want to see the landscape of it. And they all want to fuck that chick. Yeah, all these nerds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this this is happening at a school? What are they teaching these fucking kids? All right, pot. Okay. All right, let's hear your evil laugh. I'm trying it. Oh, go ahead. I'm just practicing. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no that's really good yeah. that was actually really yeah. fucking good you would have won that whole thing you do you go no no i want to i want to envision i'm tied to we're knocked out i'm tied to a tree i'm in a forest right <laughs> and I, they, they, you know what what do they say whenever someone's like kidnapped their first words out of their mouth is always this hello 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 hello, hello. <laughs> you know who I am? No. I'm one of the Hell's Angels. <laughs> Please don't kiss me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kiss you, baby. <laughs> Please don't kiss me. Sir. I'm gonna kiss you so I'm like, hard. Hey, I'm like, hey. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's good. That's good, right? Yeah, that's like different. That's my little hell's angel. Yeah, that's really good. Kissy, kissy. Yeah. All right, I gotta get on my bike. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, how funny would it be to hell, see a hell's angel? Fucking what, bitch? And yeah. then kiss a guy and then and then roll away. Well, if they have the evil laugh, there's other things they could probably do, like climax competition. Yeah, evil climax. Uh, how about not evil, <laughs> sad climax? Well, that's fucking. I can do that one every time. Okay, do it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had a two. Yeah. Right, so the first yeah. I think it's happening. A little half shot, but full then once shot. it happened, nothing happened. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what? You know what fancy sounds like? What? When he nuts? Oh, would tell me. Arriba. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Arriba. Yeah, yeah. What does Macomb sound like? Ah. Uh. I was gassed in the tank. Oh, no cap. Oh, oh, I gassed inside of your puss. Uh, I gassed inside your puss. <clears throat> no cap. On God when he comes. Oh, on God. Gen Z coming. Oh, shit. On God. <laughs> your generation fucking sucks. Fucking sucks, dude. You're a bunch of fucking losers. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being a bad friend.